This is SportsCenter. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Packers come away with a seven-point win. Michael Jenkins stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Trent Green airmailed 350-plus yards and helped his Chiefs beat the Broncos. Over in Cleveland, home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, we had the Browns narrowly coming out on top by five. Up in the HHH Metrodome, we had the Vikings walk away with a six-point victory. The Buccaneers' defense held their opponents to under 100 passing yards in their win at Raljon, Maryland. Colts, Patriots. Peyton Manning is eyeing the end zone from the 11-yard line. And now Stutter Steps goes across the middle. Beautiful pass, touchdown. The Colts go on to win this by the final score of 27 to 21. The Cardinals won on the road and will now head home to meet the Patriots. Jimmy Smith stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. We had a big injury in this one and Trey has the lowdown for us, Trey. All right, Boomer, thanks. Before we get to the big news of the week, let's do a quick shakedown on the rest of the NFL's injuries. Jason Ferguson is arguably the biggest name on this list. X-rays revealing that a broken foot is the report. He'll be out for four weeks. Now the big story of the day. Marcus Stroud will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. Chad Johnson had over 50 yards receiving and helped his Bengals beat the Jets. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Jason Gilden is on the move, as you see, as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Five years, $18.9 million. On top of that, a $5.6 million signing bonus. Tim Wansley will also be locked up for a while as he signs a healthy six-year contract with the Chiefs. This guy will have a new place to call home as he accepts a new contract. Six years, $5.6 million, plus a $1.1 million signing bonus. This guy will also be locked up for a while as he signs a healthy six-year contract with the Vikings. Raiders, Steelers. Charles Woodson is on an island sometimes, but if you leap like that and with his size, uh-oh, only the quarterback can get him. Does he have the wheels? No way, Jose. Touchdown, 65 yards. The Raiders win this one by the final score of 34 to 13. Deep in Cajun country in New Orleans, we had the Saints get sent away with a seven point loss. Down at Pro Player Stadium, we had the Dolphins get sent away with a seven point loss. The Texans' defense pummeled their way to five sacks in their win at Reliant Stadium. The Giants won on the road and will now head home to meet the Redskins. And last but not least, we had the Lions come away victorious. So as usual, plenty of surprises around the NFL, and heck, I mean, we just got into week one. My primetime players' game balls go out to these gentlemen, each one with a fine start to the season. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.